Welcome back. The time is now 627. The holidays can often be a time for joy, but it can also be a time of stress. And joining us now is Dr. Kayla Sierra from Unity Place to go over how parents or caregivers can help children cope with stress during the holidays. Good morning, Dr. Sierra. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for joining us. All right. So if you could tell me a little bit about um, what types of stress can children and teens experience during the holidays? Um, so we always like to think of the holidays uh, as a time of, you know, magic. Um, but with that comes um, not only stress in us adults, but also in our children. I think that more often than not, um, when we are focusing on the entertainment, the planning, the traveling, the gathering, we tend to get anxious ourselves as parents, getting everything ready, and we can project that into our children. Um, I think that um, one factor that I always like to take into account, especially during the past three years with the pandemic, is that there was some degree of social isolation. And as some of those restrictions have lifted, then we are spending or wanting to spend a lot of time with family, right? And there's a period of three years where our kids have grown and all of a the sudden they're not the little baby that they were before. They get so much attention and that can also be um, quite intimidating. So um, we see increase in anxiety. We see a lot of increase in, in, in depression also with the seasonal component. So we can see a lot of acting out behaviors, right? isolation maybe in the context of depression. Uh, we see a lot of irritability, isolation, even um, acting out behaviors and defiance. Very good. Well, how as parents and caregivers can we identify signs of stress in our kids? So first of all is picking up of those changes um, in our children's behaviors, right? Or even with a child or an adolescent that already have predisposition for the development of depression, anxiety, or stress, then picking up on those cues, not wanting to spend time with family, having a lot of resistance to do activities as a family, you know, during the holiday time. Um, so those are very important things to pick up on as parents. Um, we consider those changes from our children's baseline behaviors. And if those signs or symptoms of stress and anxiety or other concerns persist, what resources are there available in our community to help out our children? Absolutely. I, first of all, I wanted to mention that it's very important to, you know, um, create an environment at home where parents can definitely talk to their children, you know, um, making ourselves available to discuss, you know, uh, projections for activities during the holiday, lots of planning. If you're feeling a certain way, let's talk about it. So I think that creating a healthy environment in the home will be a first starting point where our kids can communicate feelings and emotions regarding to the dynamics of what's happening, you know, during the holiday time. Um, and it's that is not sufficient and it doesn't suffice some of the stressors of the holidays, then I would uh, recommend kind of seeking out to their primary care providers and or psychiatrists that they have been established um, at Unity Point. Uh, we provide a lot of mental health um, services and resources um, um, through, a Unity, to, through our Unity Place um, as Access Center. Um, and we um, have resources allotted for this kinds of situations. So um, there's 24-7 uh, mental health crisis support and resources. Um, and there are phone numbers available um, for the Peoria County and the Taswell and Woodford counties as well. Very good. Well, Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we definitely appreciate all those tips to help our children during the holiday season. And we'll make sure to share these details on our website, ciproud.com.